Ever wondered what it was like to be a digital nomad? Full of beaches, vacations and getting paid along the way? I gave it a go for six months across Europe with my boyfriend Aiden, and I wanted to show you what being a digital nomad is really like. So keep watching to find out what really happens during a day in the life of a digital nomad in the beautiful city that is Prague. Welcome to a day in life. Time is 5.58. It's early. I've already been up for an hour. I've taken two calls. Um, the fun part of working on a different time zone and traveling as well. But, you know, it's fine. <laughs> Can't really complain too much. And I'm sure once I warm up a little bit more and get a coffee into me, it'll be, it'll be good. So thought I would take you along a day in the life today. I'm not too sure what we'll get up to. We've got some calls this morning. We're going to go and do some exploring around Prague as well. Um, and yeah, I'll show you what a day in the life of the digital nomad looks like. I've just finished up some of my calls for this morning and now I'm gonna get stuck into some email responses and some computer work um, before we go and grab a coffee. So I don't think I have ever really explained my job role before, but I am a client success coach at a company called Jefferson Digital, which my boyfriend Aiden owns as well. We run real estate digital marketing ads to try and generate more listing opportunities for these agents. So we run Facebook ads, Instagram ads, and we have some follow-up and nurture systems. So my role, I'm basically an account manager and accountability coach for the client. A lot of my days are taking up from calls, which is what I've been doing this morning, and um, doing some onboarding for new clients, which is exciting. Um, but now I'm going to be spending the rest of my day doing some computer work. I'm not quite sure what we'll get up to later on. Just working from here, we'll do a little bit of exploring as well, I'm sure. So this is the current state <laughs> of the room I'm working from, where you can see I've literally jumped out of bed and onto calls. So I'm going to be sorting out this, making myself look a little bit better. So let's get to it. So as you can see, rocking some very nice work from home attire. It's very cold here. I think when we woke up yesterday, it said it was five degrees, feels like four, and I did not prepare for that. <laughs> Wouldn't recommend not getting ready before a work day, but unfortunately, the time of morning that I got up just wasn't happening. I wasn't putting makeup and stuff on before. Normally, if I was in the Gold Coast and working my normal time zone, I would always make an effort to do that beforehand. So don't, don't come at me. Don't, um, don't follow from my footsteps. Make sure that you are making an effort, even if you're working from home, it will make you feel so much more productive. One thing I did want to touch on very quickly before I do go and make myself look a little bit more presentable, not massively, just a little bit, um, was just how I have found myself to be the most productive that I can be and make sure I don't miss anything, particularly when I'm working with team members that are in different time zone to me. I've just got myself um, this planner. This is just a very, very basic one that I got from Wilkinson's in the UK. It cost me about £2.50, I think. Something like this or similar. So this is just a blank slate diary and I can just choose when and if I wanna make notes on it. If I wanna go over two days, 
it doesn't really matter because it's not dated and I can use it how I wish. Things to do today. This will be just like quick ticks. You can see there's some already on there. I normally the night before actually, or when I'm working the day before and I have certain things I know that I'm gonna have to get done tomorrow, I'll just quickly jot them on here the day before as I'm going through my day, just so that I don't forget to do them. We also have team meetings, um, which is the night time for me at the moment. So I'll make some notes based on action things that I have to do off the back of that, just so that I, when I wake up in the morning, I don't forget what needs to be done straight away. One thing I will also do in here is just kind of schedule in things that I know that maybe aren't even work related into my work day as well. So for example, I know I wanna to go to the gym today, so I'm gonna write it as if it's an appointment on my appointment list to make sure that I get it done. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this in for the rest of the day so that when it does come to the middle of the day and I have a break, I'm able to actually spend it doing something that I want to do as as well. So I've just showered, brushed my teeth, um, got changed into some gym wear because I am going to go to the gym today. It's going to hold me to it. I like to like, make myself feel a little bit more presentable even if I don't want to wear any makeup that day. Gel my eyebrows, give my hair a bit of a brush, just put on some moisturiser. We're travelling so we don't have too much skincare with us because we only brought hand luggage. And then I'll get back to my desk. I've got a call in around 10 minutes time. <laughs> time for coffee it's gone past 10 a.m past coffee time but we're gonna go to our local coffee shop that we found around the corner here in Prague that does incredible coffee and we'll probably get a bite to eat as well how do you feel about coffee local coffee shop that we've been going to delicious coffee as I mentioned earlier and I'm feeling a lot more myself thought I would just give you a very quick tour of the apartment that we're staying in here in Prague as you walk in we have the living area on the left hand side and the bedroom in here double bait dressing area and we have completely unpacked whilst we're here a big full length mirror, such large windows, it's so bright and light in here, an extra desk. We did move this from the main living area, but one thing that I do when I am kind of looking at apartments that we're gonna be working on is just really looking at the desk space to be able to see if it's gonna be comfortable for us to be working in here. And then we come through these really big double doors into the living area. Pretty roomy, we've got a full size sofa, this very large table, which is where we do the majority of our work from. And you can see Aiden working away as always. <laughs> Plant styles going on, which is where the, um, the glass desk was before. So we've just done a little bit of rearranging whilst we are here. Another tip if you are gonna be having multiple people working from home is just making sure that there is a door or a wall that you can close. Um, just in case you do kind of wanna get away from each other for calls or just to work, whatever it is. The bathroom, shower over a bath, lovely warm shower, especially whilst it's cold. Toilet room here. We do have a full size kitchen. So we've actually <laughs> been eating out or ordering in food every day, just because it's more convenient for us with our schedules as well. And it's super cheap here in Prague. Got pretty comfortable here. Done a little rearranging just to make sure that we're happy and comfortable in the workspace. And we've been really productive here. So there's just a few tips there if you are ever gonna be working remotely or as a digital nomad, for example, just really check out the photos in the listings 
Um, be sure to ask questions. Ask if you can use certain things as desk. And don't be afraid to ask for internet speeds as well because it's something that um, I think more people ask than what you would expect as well. So I have finished with my calls for this morning. I've got one more booked for 4 p.m. today. But in the meantime, I'm gonna get stuck into some admin work do a little bit of email response for Jefferson Digital, just make sure all of that is sorted going into the weekend. Just making sure that all of our travel stuff is planned as we're heading to another destination next week, which is very, very exciting. And then I'll get on to doing some video editing for my YouTube, which um, I've obviously just started. So um, would really appreciate if you're liking the video to give a thumbs up and also subscribe when you get a chance to. So it's a little bit later, two o'clock, a bit later than what we expected, but we've now just finished up with some work, well maybe not finished, um, but we thought it was about time that we went out, got a little workout in, so we're going to head to the nearby gym, I think it's 130 Czech Karuna. Um, which is around seven dollars each to go and use the gym for the day. We're gonna be hitting today, Aiden. Get, get some back done. Some Ooh, deadlifts. Ooh, big boy. Some, some ring pull-ups. Wow. So, Athletic. Here we go. wraps that will keep us going. I've got to rush back for a call at four o'clock and then I'll get ready to go out for a date night with this one. <laughs> so I know I said this wrap was pocket size but look at the size of that. It's literally tiny. I'm gonna gobble that in one bite I'm sure of it. Thoughts on the wrap? It's nice. It's too small. <laughs> Guess what? I just remembered we have leftover pasta in the fridge. We accidentally ordered an extra dish when we got our kind of um, Walt, which is the equivalent to Uber Eats here. And so it means we have a leftover pasta which we forgot about. And so we can eat it now to make up for how tiny that wrap was. You know what I love more than Zoom calls? When clients don't show up to the scheduled Zoom calls. Love it. Sit there for 10 minutes with no show, no explanation, no message. Welcome to a day in the life of Lozzy. <laughs> so just jumped out the shower and I'm going to get ready for date night tonight. We're going to go into the old square, I believe, and get some traditional Czech food and a couple of drinks probably as well. We're both ready and we're gonna take a stroll into the Prague Old Town where I think Aiden's been somewhere. Is it in the old town? We'll see. We, we shall see. Surprises for you, surprises for me. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna head there, have a date night, have a drink, a cocktail. No, you don't know about that. Cocktail and so beer. Long, so and, so long, so long time, right? <laughs> and if I don't kill him already, then we might see you later. So 
there's a story about the Prague clock and it's actually the um, oldest working archaeological clock in the world, um, the second oldest ever created and there's a story about it that the guy that actually um, built the archaeological clock, is that what it's called? An archaeological clock? <laughs> <laughs> the guy that the guy that actually built the clock um, they actually ordered for him to be blinded so that he couldn't repeat his work again and then in revenge once he was blinded he decided to um, break the clock and it took them um, I think it was almost 200 years for them to be able to fix it and now they've preserved it it's working beautifully and it's the main part of Prague Square when you come here Every hour on the hour there's a show that goes on and everyone gathers. Um, but yeah, an interesting little fact about Prague. Would you like a flake with that? No, honestly, that was absolutely delicious. I'm sure that you'll be able to tell from the videos. It was incredible. I had the pork knuckle and Aidan, what was it that you had? What was it called? Sveknivak. So it was a traditional Czech restaurant that Aidan had found online and um, it was called, what was it called? Ukroka. And if you are ever in Prague, do yourself a favor and go there because it was honestly insane, like delicious, the best food I've had in a very, very long time. And it was also super, super affordable. So um, we both had beautiful dinner. It was literally like five star tasting, incredible, melt in the mouth type of food. And um, a beer each as well, uh, half a liter of beer as well and I think it came to 660-ish Czech Karuna, which is the equivalent to $42, I think. So, insane, you have to go and taste it. But other than that, um, thank you for spending the day with me if you got this far, thank you very much. Um, I'll catch up with you in the next video, wherever that may be, um, but we're just gonna take off the makeup have a chill out and go to bed and we'll see what we get up to tomorrow. See you later!